What's going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video. Today I'm going to be installing this Amcrest Echo HD 1080p security camera um, kit right here. Um, reason why I got it was because... The wh why can't they just move the truck? It doesn't have any tires on it. <laughs> so they bad. Just, push, just put tires on it. They have to go get them. Somebody took them last night. I can't even believe it. Yeah, my neighbors got jacked, and this kind of crap happens all the time. I went ahead and decided to go with one of these units right here. Um, this one seemed to have the best features for the price. Um, if you want to pick one up, I'll leave a link down in the description box below where you can pick one up. And uh, you can check out all the specs and everything like that, see if it's something you want to get. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and I'm going to... I've never done anything like this before, so I'm usually working on cars. Um, today is going to be a house video, and uh, I'll go ahead and run through, install it, do a review at the end, um, tell you what I think, show you some of the features, and uh, yeah, see how it goes. Thanks for watching. How, oh yeah, hit that thumbs up button for me if you want to see more videos like this. If you have any questions, leave them down in the, uh, the comment box below, and uh, let's do it. Alright, so we got the Amcrest Echo HD 1080p. High def, A channel, a whole bunch of feed and distance, two terabytes, remote viewing, night vision, weatherproof, DIY installation. Alright, that's what I'm all about, DIY. Pull the cameras. Is it cool? Well, they're not too big. Which is good. I want them, you know, you want them to be seen, but not ugly, you know, like huge. So that's cool. It's a good size. Okay. Let's see adapter for something. Huh. Not too bad. Looks like it's adjustable and everything. Cool. Just gotta take it apart to have another thing, which is good. Power cord. Support. Start guy. Alright, so it's got a USB up front. I guess that's in case something happens and you want to take what you've recorded and put it on a stick so you can give it to the police or your neighbors or whatever. Um, which would be probably handy. My, my parents actually ran into an issue with someone in their backyard one one morning and the neighbors had a camera and uh, they were able to look on it and actually see what this guy was up to and he was running around in the backyard and so it's pretty simple looking Feet. That's 100, 160, 60, 16, 16. So you get 400 feet bundles and 460 feet bundles. Which hopefully is enough. My house is pretty small, so. Um, and I'll go through the directions real quick and I'll get started on it. Alright, so I went through the instructions and the first thing it tells you to do is it wants you to hook the unit up, hook the DVR up, power it up, hook all the cameras up, and go ahead and set it up and um, check to make sure everything works. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to run, run all the cabling first. And... Uh, but the DVR unit, 
you know, the best thing to do would be to hide it in your house or in the attic or hide it somewhere where, you know, if you have a break in, they won't be able to find it. But uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll probably put it somewhere where, you know, it's not just sitting on the open. But uh, right now, I think I'm just going to run the wires through the walls and through the attic to the cameras. I'm going to hook it up to the DVR kind of real close to my bedroom TV. And the reason why is because I already, the unit itself is going to need internet, you know, if you want to watch it on your phone or whatever, or work. And it's not a wireless unit, so it needs an ethernet connection. And I already have an ethernet connection in this room with a nice long cable. So it gives me a couple options. Either I can run an ethernet up to the attic and put it in the attic, or I can run all these cables down in the wall. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't want to show you too much of my bedroom, or show you too much of the inside of my house, is um, I'm just going to run it on the wall and uh, get it close enough to this uh, already installed cable, and get it hooked up to the TV so I can kind of see what's going on and kind of figure out as I go, see how it looks, see how it works, and then maybe later on if I want to move things around and make them more secure, you know, in case someone breaks in and stuff like that. I'll move them around and make it perfect but right now I just kind of want to get it kind of where I think I want it and I want to get it working to see what it looks like and how it operates so. um, you know eight sets of these to the DVR which is gonna be super fun but you know, whatever another tip what I did is you know one you got four hundred feet and then you got four 60 feet length cables. I kind of just ran the cables off to where they're kind of going to go in, around in the house to see, you know, if they're long enough to where I'm going to be putting all these cameras. And it seems to work out pretty well. So, um, next step, I guess, would be to go ahead and get in the attic and I'm going to start running a cable down this wall. Yippee. All right, dropping cabling down from the ceiling, down from the attic. I'm going to end up using, you know, I'm going to need a drill. Drilling and driving kit. This is going to work good for uh, mounting the cameras and drilling the holes. And I'm going to need this extension because it's kind of deep down in there, you'll see. I'm going to put that together and uh, climb in the attic and drill me some holes. Alright, well, I'm up in the attic. I'm going to have to drill the hole down to the, through the ceiling down into the, uh, get so I can run the cable down through the wall. <laughs> What you're gonna do is you're gonna get your cable. And it's labeled to DVR. And I'm gonna tape it to the fish tape. And then you're gonna string it down into the into the hole down the wall. That's new cable. And it's a kind of a pain in the butt. You just gotta do a whole all the wire down there. Woo! Alright, a little bit of a mess. Got a bunch of bundles, you know, the eight bundles of wire, kind of everywhere. Got them down, ran through the wall, down into where I got the DVR. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get one set of the cables and I'm gonna run them down to kind of where I wanna put one of the cameras at. And I think I'm gonna do it one at a time. Just so I don't die in my attic because it is the middle of August and it's crazy hot. So, let's see right here. This is pretty much my patio. And I'm definitely going to want to put one by the back door. So, this is around where the back door is. Drilling somewhere around here. Uh, so I'm gonna the cable over here. And once I get the camera hooked up, I'll straighten all this up. But you're gonna get all, all the channels, which I got eight channels. Kind of run them to the corners 
where you're gonna put the cameras. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do one and one at first, and then I'm gonna go hook it up and hook it up to the TV and everything, see what's going on, get that set up first. All right, so here's the camera. This is the dome camera. So I'm thinking this is the one that I want to put by the door. All right, so I'm gonna put one right up over here by my back door. There's my door. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it in the. And that's that's just how humid and hot it is right now. It sucks. There we go. Can you see now? Cool. Yeah, so here, here's the back door, and I'm thinking I'm going to put it up here in this corner right over here, above the door. I guess that's so you can, I'm thinking so you can really get a good picture of someone's face maybe at the door. I'm just thinking, I don't know if I should put it in this corner over here, or this corner over here. I don't really know, but I think I'm going to do it right here. Then you're gonna have to go in and aim it because you can turn it a lot of different ways and then you tighten this up and set it. I think I, I kind of warped it a little bit. That's the tightest I can get it. So, first one. Live and learn. I always like to screw it up at first. Though. All the rest of them should go pretty easily after I know how to do it. Not too bad. Not exactly how I want it, but it's good enough. sake of time all right there's the wall plate installed and there's all the wire run through the door it kind of looks like a mess the unit comes with this is power for all the cameras here okay so just have it plugged into a power strip over there and on the back of the unit here it's pretty much just like hooking up the big dvd player with the channels labeled okay and this is all your videos okay and these install and they lock um it's pretty nice so they don't come undone um, there's your internet and my VGA cable run to the back of the TV and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install some more of the cameras and then I'll show you some of the features of the DVR unit
Like the camera? Makes it real easy. Adjust it. And then when you have it in place, you just lock it in. All right, so here we go. Here's it running right here. Um, I'm most impressed with the quality of it. It looks fantastic. Um, it comes with a mouse, and it's really easy to, you know, navigate around. Um, you can change the view, what you're looking at. You can change it to four. Um, if you click on it, you can go into one. And um, so you go to all of your different cameras. Change the views. Um, go to the main menu. This will allow you to look at previous recordings so like uh, we can go this morning here um, so it's 30th and you're just going to pick the time all right and uh, see if I'm moving around and there's me moving around this morning all right pretty cool um, And then you can go into events and actually adjust um, alarms and uh, video detect. It's like your the motion detection. You can actually set this up for certain times of the day, and uh, it'll record or take pictures um, and alert you. Um, it's pretty pretty cool. It has a lot more features than I'm ever going to use. Um, you can change the uh, the schedule for when you want it to uh, to record, at what time, in which camera. Um, here you can go ahead and label, but it has way more than I'm ever going to use with it, and it's super easy to set up. I mean, you just plug it in, and it starts recording if that's what you need. If you want to just monitor what's going around your house, I mean, you can you can set it up for all kinds of different things as far as the schedule goes. Um, you can get it to take pictures, but. What I really like is the app. The app is super easy on your phone, and it, it takes all these these menu, all this whole menu, and makes it really simple on the app on how you can adjust it and uh, and use it. And I'll go ahead and show you some features of that. But the quality is this is great. I'm most happy with it. All right, let's see if I can uh, let's go ahead and show you what the uh, the night vision looks like. The night recordings. Let's go into the menu. On the search, and we'll go into last night. And, um, so this is this morning. And yeah, so there's the front yard, like patio. But yeah, the night vision works really well. Um, you can really tell um, where, it, where it's pointing at. So I'm pretty impressed with the night vision. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, so look at that picture, and then we'll go out. So that's this one right here. So yeah, the night vision works pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm still not used to using this thing yet, but Let's see. yeah, looks pretty good. So like you can see right inside my Jeep.
yard. That's all. I'm pretty happy with this thing. A little bit of glare on my TV, but yeah, the night vision works pretty darn well. So I'll go ahead and show you uh, what the app looks like, a little bit of fe some features on the app. Go and check out the app real quick. All right, the app is really easy to use. Um, you can download it through the Play Store. Um, it gives you the instructions in the box on, on how to get to it. But if you just click on it, um, it'll come up. This is actually the live view right here. Um, it's really simple to use. Um, this is all my all my cameras right here. Um, you can actually take these tiles and move them around and configure it the way you want. So you can look at your uh, your property the way you want to look at it. But the quality is great. Double click it, you'll get a full screen view. And uh, you, can, um, you can zoom in and out. This is all real live time right here. back it works really well um, go in there and you can go to your playback and play back some of your old recordings um, it makes it a lot easier than playing with the unit um, it's in the house you can come in here and download things into the phone if you need to if you need to show like the police something or something it's, um, has a lot of features. Um, you can get it to notify you. You just pretty much uh, all your settings that that the the unit has, the DVR has, that you can control them through the app. So it makes it really nice to be able to go in here and um, control everything here. But yeah, that's just a real little short little uh, preview of what the app looks like but yeah this this works everywhere um, I look at it all the time at work just to see what's going on with the house but yeah it's pretty cool all right well that pretty much wraps up the uh, install of the MCrest security camera uh, kit um, took me a couple weekends to get it done um, I'm very uh, very happy with uh, the quality and the way it came out and the way it functions um, definitely need to go through the manual a little bit and learn how to use all the scheduling and all the little features and things like that. Um, I hope you learned something. I sure as heck did. I highly recommend getting one, especially this HD version. I mean, I feel a lot better about what's going on, uh, around my house when I'm here and when I'm not here. Um, if you made it this far in the video, uh, hit me up with a thumbs up, check out the links. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment box below. And, uh, as always, you guys take care, be safe, and have a great weekend. Later.